Café ele spots. Café ele spots a light to dark brown pigmented birth marks that typically appear on the trunk, arms, legs, and buttocks. These spots commonly appear on a newborn's skin. The spots may change in size and number over time. However, it is well known that more than six cafe ole spots can be a sign of underlying genetic condition, such as neurofibromatosis. The neurofibromatosis gene in F1 prevents cells from growing too quickly, which causes the melanocytes to produce too much melanin in the skin. The cafe au lait spots are common among children. Estimated 10% of the population has at least one cafe au lait spot. More than six cafe au lait spots can be a sign of underlying genetic condition, such as neurofibromatosis, NF1, McHugh Albright syndrome, fibrous dysplasia, and Jaffe Capanacci syndrome. More than six cafe au lait spots are present on an estimated 95% of people diagnosed with neurofibromatosis 1. So why do you call it cafe au lait spots? Because these patches on the skin has a light to dark brown color, different from the rest of the skin. Cafe au lait means coffee with milk in French. It refers to the color, comparing it to the creamy tone of a cup of coffee mixed with milk. The cafe au lait spots vary in size and differ from a rash based on their light to dark brown color. The rashes are pink to red in color, and cafe au lait spots don't create any symptoms like itchiness, which occur from the rash. What are the different types of café au lait spots? There are two types of café au lait spots identified by their shape and pattern. The cost of California is the most common type. The spot has a clear, smooth border on all sides, similar to the outline of the state of California coast. There can be a single spot or multiple spots with clearly defined borders. The cost of Maine is less common type. The spot appears to have a rough, jagged border, similar to the cost of Maine in the USA. The cafe au lait spots are the most common extraskeletal manifestation of fibrous dysplasia, and it is referred to as the cost of Maine because they have an irregular border in comparison to the coast of California with a smooth border as seen in neurofibromatosis. The combination of cafe au lait spots, neurofibromas, freckling in the axillary and the inguinal area, lish nodule, and optic glioma, and the first degree relative of neurofibroma established the diagnosis. In the forearm, we see bowing of the forearm with obliteration of the medullary canal. The diagnostic criteria are met if two or more of the following are found. Six or more cafe au lait spots over 5 mm in diameter. Two or more neurofibromas of any type. Frickling in the axilla and inguinal region. Optic glioma. Two or more lish nodule, it's called iris hamartoma. Thinning of lung bone with or without pseudoarthrosis, first degree relative with neurofibromatosis one. So what are lish nodules? There are benign pigmented hamartomas of the iris. A patient with a neurofibromatosis had the most common single gene disorder in humans. It's a tosomal dominant mutation in the NF1 gene on chromosome 17. 50% with bony changes, pit erosions, neuroma pressure, anterolateral bowing of the tibia, and pseudoarthrosis. Scoliosis or kyphoscoliosis over short segment.
lower cervical and the upper thoracic. So if you see a patient with scoliosis and cafe au lait cutaneous lesions and axillary freckling, then you need to get an MRI of the spinal axis. And it will assess dural ectasia and intraspinal neurofibromatosis. The neurofibromatosis is an autosomal dominant disorder caused by a mutation in the neurofibrin 1 gene that codes for the neurofibromin protein. Neurofibromatosis presents itself with a skin lesion, lower and upper extremity deformities, and a spinal disorder. What is McCune Albright syndrome? includes polystotic fibrous dysplasia, cafe au lait spots, precocious puberty, and the hyperfunction of multiple endocrine glands. The McCune Albright syndrome is a genetic mutation of the G proteins. It is polyesthetic unilateral with short stature and precocious puberty. The McCune Albright syndrome occurs in polyostatic fibrous dysplasia and it is present in as many as 50% of patients and should be evaluated with endocrine consultation. Disorders of the parathyroid gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal gland, and the pituitary gland may be present. Untreated and unrecognized hyperthyroidism may be life threatening during a surgical procedure. The cafe au lait spots are larger and more irregular borders with fibrous dysplasia, they call it the cause of main. What is the disorder with the germline defect in G protein? Fibrous dysplasia. Fibrous dysplasia is a developmental abnormality caused by G-protein mutation that leads to failure of production of normal lamellar bone. Usually, in fibrous dysplasia, the X-ray will show dysplastic bone with ground glass appearance. Proximal femur is the most common site. Histology, you find the Chinese letters and the woven bone will lack osteoplastic rimming. Cafe au lait spots larger, more irregular borders than neurofibromatosis and may or may not be present with fibrous dysplasia, but by definition is present. With McCune Albright syndrome, the femur, you may find the Schubert croc deformity. So what is Jaffe Campanacci syndrome is characterized by multiple non-ossifying fibromas, cafe au lait spots, and the absence of neurofibromas. The Jaffe Campanacci syndrome has giant cell granulomas of the mandible and intellectual disability. It will also have heart, eye, and gonads involvement. Non-ossifying fibromas are benign and are usually found in the metaphysis of long bones discovered incidentally on an X-ray by its characteristic metaphysial eccentric bubbly lytic lesion surrounded by a scoloritic rim. It is the most common benign tumor in childhood. Treatment is usually observation. It is a rare syndrome and some people regard it as neurofibromatosis type 1. Usually, patients should be further evaluated to detect features related to neurofibromatosis type 1. The patient should be investigated for mutation of neurofibromatosis 1 gene. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.